Good morning. It's Thursday, the 13th of February. Remember, it's Valentine's Day tomorrow. Yeah, keep forgetting that. Yep, just another date. I used to call it Hallmark's Day. That's kind of screwed up, huh? Yeah. It's always good to be grateful. It's always good to have love. It's always, you know, taking a tradition and making the best of it. It's always a good thing, right? So what's really interesting is that red car syndrome I talk, I keep talking about when I come on here every day for my accountability and gratitude uh, daily post. And um, hey, how are you doing, Linda? Is that, I'm sorry, my glasses are crazy right now. But I come on here every day and I just got out of a coaching call and actually the gentleman um, was Colton Lindsay. And he takes Colton Lindsay. And interestingly, just as I'm finding a lot as I come on here onto the Mel Robbins group is that, again, as I've always said, there's nothing, there's nothing that's original, there's just things that actually work. The Miracle Warning was mentioned a lot by Hal, Hal Elrod and also Mel Robbins' Five Second Rule. You just, um, you've got to take action. You have to get up whether you feel like it or not. You know you need to do it, just do it. So for, you, for the, better, the better good for you as well as the world that you live in. So taking control of your day is always my theme when I come on here. And it's always something that I am um, striving to do and to improve and to become better at. And sometimes, in fact, every time, every day, you're gonna find challenges. You're gonna find things that, uh, that, put, that test you to the limit. If you wanna make a change, you gotta put in effort. You're always gonna have some sort of demons that are holding you back and they're all in here even though they don't seem like it. One of the biggest things that we all are addicted, we're all addicted to something. The worst thing uh, for most of us who are in this rut that we call life that we're making the best of, that we just think that things happen to us is um, what happens when we first get up? Do we look at our phone? Most people do. You look at your phone or you listen to the news or you listen to something negative uh, without the, um, even the, the presence of mind to understand that by doing that you're sabotaging yourself. By allowing other thoughts or other energies or other influences to come into your brain, you're not allowing yourself to decide and to uh, overcome all of those things or to just be your best or just to uh, have control. So it starts right there. And then being grateful, writing the things down or really absorbing what it is and really genuinely thinking about what that is and writing it down um, and uh, making it very tangible. That's extremely important too because you're gonna need to fall back on that at some point when you start to um, have down moments, which you will, because we do, it's human experience. But the, one of the most profound things that I got from the training today uh, with this young man, he was a guest on my regular co coaching program, and um, was was that was the routines, and they're advocated by Tony by Tony Robbins, by all of the the greats, all of the people that are out there right now making a big difference, just helping other people. It's not about riches, it's not about making money, it's not about being the best at anything other than being at peace and having love and having. Those, uh, those core elements that you really want in your life. And it's a little different for everybody, but I think for most of us, it's, it's pretty similar. You know, we want, we want to be happy. We want to live life um, in our best way. And um, the old habits just aren't working, and especially the old habits that then get merged into technology and social media and all of the bad habits that we've all developed today. So what I'm saying here is that we are so addicted to drama. We're so addicted to negativity. It's really it's just almost impossible to give it up unless you really put in the effort. But once you start to do that, you start to develop a routine where you get up and you take control and you don't look at anything else. You don't worry about what the hell other people think about you and you get up out there and you just, um, you, you, you actually acknowledge everything that's awesome in your life. And I've got so many things that are I'm awesome. Um, uh, that think I think are awesome and I'm sure you do too. You're just not actually making the choice to change your mindset to actually ins insert those those thoughts and words and um, into your mind and those feelings because it all comes down to emotion because um, yeah, the question was asked time equals what? Time equals money most people say. No, time equals emotion. So what if you could just stop what you're doing and just give up everything you were gonna do today. 
Can you do that? I mean, most people say, no, because I'd lose my job, I'd lose business, I'd do this, I'd do that. That means that that shit is governing you and you gotta stop it. If I seem a little bit um, amped up, that's because I am. Because sometimes if you just relax, and that's the other part, meditation. You have to take time after you've gotten up and taken control and, and written all the things you're grateful for and written all the things that you want to accomplish that day. You have to take the time to breathe and to meditate, to really focus on nothing. Focus on the fact that you're a thinking, breathing machine. Focus on the fact that you deserve and want and love and peace in your life. And uh, work on ways of doing that. And what I really cherish the most about listening to this, this man is just that it was just such perfect timing. And if you're open to that, you're going to start having things like that come into your life. You're going to start to notice all the bad habits and all the things that have developed all of your life aren't really those people, aren't really those family members that treat you like shit because they think you're a certain way or because you're too exasperating or because you're too emotional or because you know you might have said something that hurt their feelings when, when then they give you this silent treatment thinking that that's going to help. <laughs> yeah, is that happening to me? Yeah, of course it's happening to me. Does it bother me? Yes, it does. Am I struggling to let go of it? Yes, I am. And, um, but I will. I am letting go of it because um, I'm a whole lot more important than that. I'm important enough to not hammer on my own self and I don't need to actually believe the stuff that I'm hearing other people say because I'm interpreting that. That's on me. That's not on them. That's where other people think of me as none of my business comes into play. But, but really it does because we're addicted to that drama, that feeling that they, that, that pissed you off because that's what we know. <laughs> so it's, it's fight or flight, right? But it's not. So once you start to do that, once I start to do that, I start to see things opening up. I start to see more people of like minds, more people that are out there to help you. And uh, then you start reaching out and helping other people and it feels really, really great. And so when I come on here every day, I don't mean to come on and say the same thing and be boring. I just want to share that um, for myself, my own benefit, that I'm growing and then ho hopefully I'm sharing and, uh, and you've, got, you've gained some insight from that and you'll get something out of it and you'll take your own course to take control of your own life. And so, um, yeah. Thanks so much for uh, tuning in and listening. I really appreciate you. All right, so have a great Thursday and do something really nice for somebody else, especially yourself. Set up a morning routine of uh, not looking at your phone for an hour, you know, right now what you're grateful for, meditating, planning it out, and enjoying your day. And at the end of the day, you kind of do the, you have to do the same thing, really, in reverse. You, you're grateful, you go to bed with these wonderful thoughts, and you wake up hopefully happy. All right, have a great day. Um, I want to see what someone else is writing here. Somebody's writing some really good stuff here. Yeah, shifting our minds to gratitude is so important and focusing on our breath. Important points. Thank you so much. And thank you, Ingrid. And thank you, Janie. And thank you, uh, Melinda. I really appreciate you. All right. Hi, Kelly. Have a good day.